Okay, here we're dealing with the random variable x, and it is normally distributed. So all that really means is we're dealing here with the bell curve, standard bell curve, straight down the middle, 50% on this side, 50% to the right, and of course we need the x-axis to show us that the very far it reaches, there's very few of whatever we're measuring here. And of course, if we get closer to the y-axis here, you can see everything is bunched up there. Now, what are the specific numbers they're giving us? They are giving us here the 60 percentile ranking, and then they are giving us the 90th percentile ranking. What exactly does that mean? Well, one way of looking at it is in terms of area. If I start shading in everything here, all the way to the left of 60 percent, that is 60, or 60 itself, that is 60 percent of the area of the bell curve. Likewise, if I were to go way out here, draw this a little bit higher, and I want to shade everything to the left of this 90, then that would be 90% of the bell curve. So we know that if we come here in the middle, and they're asking for us here, quantity A, the 75th percent. So would it be in the middle? Well, what we know is 75th, 5 is halfway between 60 and 90. That means that 15% must be added here to 60. But if I went here right in the middle, if I just eyeballed it, is this 15%? Meaning, is this 15% of the area? Well, that would assume this is 2, 15% of the area, but it's not. This is really skinny. We need to make sure to the left of 75, it's 15% of the area, and to the right of 75, it's 15% of the area. Therefore, this, which is right in the middle, has to shift over because now we're getting to the steep part where most, or at least where more of these scores are, are distributed. See how thick it is up here because it's higher? So if I were to move it right around here, this area now is equal to this area. This is 15% here, and here's 15%, which is great because now we know that 75th percentile has to be much closer to the 60 than it does the 90. So if the 60th percentile corresponds to 650, and the 90th percentile corresponds to 850. Halfway in between would have been 750, obviously. 650, 750, 850, they're all separated by 100. But we know that the 75th percentile has to be pushed left of the 750. It has to be somewhere over here. We don't know exactly what it has to be. But because it's less than 750, therefore B is the answer.